Well, <laughs> I'm going to have to give props to um, the album name just outright. You are the music. We're just the band. Wow. What an album name. That's awesome. Hi, guys. Welcome to Lee Reacts. Hope everyone's having a good day. I know I am. And honestly, the band name itself isn't too shabby itself. Trapeze. That's pretty badass, man. Um, <laughs> they are a British rock band. This album is their third studio album. It was released in March of 1972 on Threshold Records. Um, the single, which we're going to be listening to, is Coast to Coast. And then there's one more song, um, Will Our Love End, which is both written by Glenn Hughes, who I'm guessing is the bass, piano, and vocalist. And there's also a Mel Galley on guitar and Dave Holland on drums and percussion. We've been hitting some three peats lately, man, or three pieces, shall we say. Um, and they have been all fantastic. Um, so first up is gonna be Coast to Coast, which is track two on the album. And then Will Our Love End, which is track six. And this is courtesy, I believe, of Bill H, our patron. Let me make sure, yep, Bill H. Thank you very much for your support, Bill. I truly appreciate you, man. Thank you very much. All right, let's do it. If y'all want to subscribe, please help brother out. Click that icon right below my face. Uh, I'd really appreciate it. Um, then leave a like and a comment too. And if you got any other tracks by Trapeze you think I'd like, leave them down below. All right, Coast to Coast by Trapeze and three, two, one, go. What a shot too for an album cover. Nineteen seventy two, baby. Going today, just passing the road I know so well. Got some soul in there. Seems the more. This was a single. Oh, yeah. This is a fantastic song. I love you so hard. Wow, man. That piano. Love so oh, yeah.
that instrumental was superb. I don't even know what to call that. Like, that was almost like shoegaze music, and that's crazy. 1972, wow. Will our love end? You said you had some friends across the river. You almost didn't go, but you changed your mind. That piano is just insane. The sounds he gets out of it. Now I sit alone, mm, thinking about you, talking to myself.
So are they called trapeze because they just like fly from genre to genre? Like it's nothing at all. Like I don't even know what to call that. Like the soul, like the vocals are soul. The instrumental was proggy at points almost, but very, very like not even the word not simple wouldn't be it. It's like very restrained, light prog in a way. It's like the chord progressions, the use of the the keyboards, and I, it doesn't say synthesizers on here, but I don't know how he was getting those sounds out, to be honest, if it wasn't, like, I don't know. It says, there's not even, okay, all right, all right, all right never mind, all right, hold on. Um, so, Jimmy ha Jimmy Hastings on the alto sax uh, on Will, Your Will Our Love End, uh, Frank Riccati on the vibraphone on Will Our Love End, um... Rod Argent did the electric piano on Coast to Coast. And then BJ Cole did the steel guitar on Coast to Coast. Okay, that's the sound I was hearing. All right, that makes more sense. It was Rod Argent, which is very funny because we did a Zombies track today. Um, that is very, very interesting. Um, so that's the sound I was hearing because I was hearing the sound. Like, that is... That's a piano? It must be like a Wurlitzer or something. An electric piano? Nope. It just says piano. Glenn Hughes on bass, piano and vocals. Mel Galley on guitar. Dave Holland on drums and percussion. What is this listed as? Funk, rock, blues rock, and hard rock. I don't know if I agree with that. I don't know what the fuck you would call that, to be honest. <laughs> I mean, whatever it was, I really, really like it. And I really, really want to hear some more of that. Because if, you know, it's like two opposing thoughts. I don't, you just think those vocals, they just wouldn't fit with that instrumental. But they 100,000% do. Like, it's one of those, like, on paper things that's like, all right, you have, like, very powerful, intimate, almost sensual, like, soul vocals and then like this kind of light almost ambient um passive almost like proggy kind of like chord progressions and this the rod argent and what he was laying down in the first track i don't think i've ever heard anything like that specifically um that like specific combination of things and genres and styles um that's a new one for me i'm not gonna lie and i probably looked really like what am I listening to face the whole time? Because I was trying to make sense of like, my brain just couldn't put those two things together. You know, it's like a, a square or a square peg in a round hole almost, but then you just kind of break the hole. You're like, I don't care. It doesn't matter. It's going to fit anyway. And it worked great. I mean, like, that's fantastic, man. Like that leaves me wanting to hear more. Like it really does. Like I was completely lost in that, man. <laughs> that second one, especially the second one, just like, oh, that's. Why did that hurt so bad, dude? Like, it really, really did. And then the first one, it had, like, this strange atmosphere to it. And that was, like, Rod Argent and then uh, BJ Cole or whatever on the steel. It was just, I don't know, man. That atmosphere was crazy. And then you've got these, like, just almost, like, I, I guess you could say funk, soul, like, R&B kind of vocals. They're just, like, very sensual and intimate sounding, but just so powerful and like the projection in his voice how far he gets it like you could tell he's got power and he was like he was holding back you know like that you could tell man that was crazy where do these bands keep coming from man like really it was just uh, you can just throw a dart trapeze it's <laughs> Oh my god, it's I'm I'm being dead ass serious though. Like you just throw a dart. Any any band in the 70s, not any. Donny Osmond, I guess. I don't know. But like throw a dart. You're 98% you're gonna hit something that's just gonna move you in some way or another, you know? <laughs> I don't know, dude. That was That was crazy, man. I don't even know how to describe how that made me feel, man. I'm not gonna lie. I, I it made me very emotional, that second track. It really, really did. I don't know if it's that really just like slight light guitar or that 
his just like passionate soul like filled vocals i don't know exactly man but whatever it was i want more of it so if you got anything else for me let me know leave me down leave me down <laughs> leave some stuff for me down below i'd really appreciate it i'll definitely check it out man because i definitely want to hear more thank you again to our patron bill h for two wonderful picks my friend thank you so much I guess I should just like make Saturday like a two for day because I think all the videos today have been two furs except for two. Hey, that works. That's perfect. Uh, I don't know. Workshop it. Um, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you later. Patreon right there. Oh, that's a picture of it. There's a link in the description. Uh, join the $15 tier or up. You get one free request a month. Join any of the tiers. You get access to all of our block videos and full album reactions. There's a shit ton of them on there. And we'd love to have you on the patrons only discord as well if you want to come hang out and chat with us we'd love to have you um there's also a paypal link in the description if you want to send a tip or send your request in that way if you prefer to do it that way and try and send it as friends and family and not like it's a, a service because then i get charged money and then i have to wait two and a half weeks to even see it that's not cool <laughs> bye